you have to analyze to anticipate. When you look at high-speed film, it's been proven that players will make an educated guess, they go on a statistical cue, and they'll take off many, many times before the ball's ever been hit. So you have to analyze to anticipate. Uh, Eugene Scott, who recently passed away, what an accomplished individual Eugene Scott was. But a famous quote from Eugene Scott, the fastest tennis players in the world would not win a schoolyard race. Well, granted, there's a long list of fast tennis players in the world. But once again, the fastest tennis players in the world would not win a schoolyard race. What you want to be able to do is read, have great recognition skills. There's four weak positions that your opponent's going to be in. They're going to be down low on the forehand side, or they're going to be up high on the forehand side. And then you flip that over, they're going to be low on the backhand side, or they're going to be high on the backhand side. One of Vic Braid's favorite drills is to have a player be down in this position and then just be courtside and just say go. So when someone's down like this, you should just sprint to the net, take small little steps. But you have to read that. You want to be able to understand trajectory is what makes the ball bounce high. So you're in that rally. For example, you go to a player's strength, you go to their weakness, you get the player up in this position. They're on the baseline, they're going to hit a weak ball. They're down in this position, they're going to hit, hit a weak ball. Lindsay Davenport, what a great, great champion. Lindsay Davenport, and I love to listen to what the players say. She has said, I am slow. That's why it's so important for me to strike the ball deep and hit the ball down the middle of the court. Uh, Pam Shriver. Pam Shriver was inducted into the Tennis Hall of Fame. And again, players are so honest. She made fun of herself during her presentation while she was speaking to the audience and said that she was very proud that she was inducted in the Hall of Fame for a gal who runs like a duck. So again, you have to be able to analyze. You want to be able to hit, recover, get close to the baseline. It's only 39 feet to the net. It's 13 steps if each step is 3 feet. But you want to be in a position where you hit, you recover, and then you're looking to see what those four positions are, and then you take off. As soon as your opponent's eyes are down like this, you just take off. 